Do you like your salmon plain, creamy, or perhaps with some cactus sauce? Mmm, stay tuned for these amazing recipes. This video is sponsored by Self Expression. The links will be in the bio. Some of the amazing benefits of eating salmon is that it's a great source of protein. It has healthy fats that can help you lose weight. It is rich in omega-3 fatty acids, so it is great for brain health. It reduces your chances of things like dementia. It lowers blood pressure and decreases your risk factors for some diseases. Well, let's talk about the main dish here, salmon. No matter what salmon you decide to use, try to buy the wild-caught Pacific salmon, meaning the salmon that's caught in the wild in the Pacific Ocean because the other ones are contaminated with pollution and other chemicals that you don't want to eat. And definitely, no matter what you do, do not buy farm-raised salmon unless if you are for certain that it is ethically and safely farm-raised, which is, you know, a little tricky sometimes. But, I mean, you can do some digging and find out where it has been raised and so forth. And to be honest, I'm not sure if this is specific or from the Atlantic Ocean, but I'm going to make sure I check next time. But at least it is wild caught. I bought this from Walmart and I like the one with the skin on. By the way, uh, most of the omega-3 fatty acid as well as the other nutrients is more concentrated in the skin. So as long as it's wild caught and it's from a safe environment, you should um, eat it with the skin on. Now let's talk about the sauce that I'm gonna to use to marinate this. I am using one lemon, some salt, pink Himalayan salt, some um, cayenne pepper, Dijon mustard, some seasoned salt, and some liquid amino seasoning. Here I strain and seeded the one lemon and then I'm gonna go ahead and put in about two tablespoons of the Dijon mustard. Some pink Himalayan salt as well as the seasoning salt. A little bit of the amino um, seasoning as well as some cayenne pepper. By the way, I'm not using this entire um, sauce just to season with. I also like to save some to use on my salmon once it's done baking. And I just go ahead and mix it in really well. Um, just stir, make sure that everything is nice and incorporated. This sauce goes so well with any kind of fish, especially with salmon, just because, you know, you have to cook salmon right. If not, it's going to taste bland. So anyway, I'm going ahead and pouring this wonderful sauce into salmon, and I'm just going to go ahead and mix it in really well. Once everything is coated, I let this sit for about 30 to 45 minutes and then I cook this on broil in my oven on 500 degrees for about 20 minutes and there it is. Now you can eat this with any kind of side dish you like. I decided to eat this with some corn and spinach. And remember that sauce that I save, I like to drizzle that on the salmon while I eat it. And this could be a little too spicy for some people, but you can also add or drizzle some lemon as you eat it. And there's my dinner. Now my next recipe, salmon recipe, is creamy salmon. So I did the same kind of process, except for I didn't put that, min that much spice in this one, and I broiled my salmon in my oven, and now I'm using the leftover juices from the seasoning, 
and adding in some sour cream and this organic sour cream um, and then I added some cilantro and I just mix this really well and then I'm gonna use this sauce to top it on the um, broiled salmon and I'm gonna put it back in the oven and bake it a little bit more and before I do that, I'm just gonna add a little bit more Himalayan salt, as well as some cayenne pepper and mix that up. Now I'm gonna add this sauce um, on the salmon. So basically I'm just gonna cover up the salmon as much as I can with this sauce. And then I'm gonna put it back in the oven to bake on 375 for about 15 minutes. Now, if you like like creamy sauces like Alfredo and things like that, this kind of resemble that taste, but it's way better. So this is what it looks like after it was baked for about 15 minutes. And just like the other recipe prior, you can eat it with any kind of side dish you want. And I decided to eat mine with um, asparagus as well as some um, quinoa brown rice mix from Costco. And that's dinner number two. Okay, this number three recipe, guys. Yes, this is cactus leaf. Yes, cactus leaf. If you guys haven't tried cactus leaf, you should immediately go try it now it has so many health benefits i am learning about this amazing cactus leaf and some of the amazing benefits are that it is high in antioxidants it promotes nerve health helps with weight loss helps reduce the risk of stroke reduce high blood pressure high cholesterol helps regulate the blood sugar levels guys start eating cactus it is amazing and it tastes so 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 good of course, do your research before you try this out. Also test a little bit of it. Make sure that you're not allergic to it. But this plan is amazing. It's just that it takes a little time to prep and you know, those pokey things and stuff, but it is so great. It has this tangy, sour taste to it. And it's a little bit slimy, just a little bit. But I chopped it up in small pieces. I am using my infamous sauce and I'm gonna try to insert the video of this sauce, but this sauce is one of those sauces that you can make thousands of dishes with. And you can freeze the sauce too, so it can go a long way. This is about half a cup of this sauce and I'm gonna add a little bit of water, maybe about a third of a cup of water. Once I'm done mixing this up, I'll go ahead and add the chopped uh, cactus in this sauce. So this is about a cup of cactus and I just go ahead and mix it up and once everything is mixed in, I'm going to go ahead and cover it up and cook it on medium low for about 15 minutes. By the way, as I mentioned before, the cactus or cacti, whatever, um, <laughs> it's a little slimy when you cut it, but once it's cooked, it's not slimy at all. And the texture is, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, I don't know, you're going to have to taste it yourself to find out. But it's, it has a very interesting texture. It's a little bit chewy, but soft. And this is what it looks like. That's the cactus sauce. And what I do is just place the um, broiled salmon on top of this and eat it just like that. If you want, you can also have another side dish, but this is more like a, I don't know, kind of like a soup with salmon or sauce with salmon. But this is so good, and cactus goes so well with salmon. So tasty. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this very interesting, I believe, <laughs> interesting recipes of cooking salmon. If you did enjoy it or learn anything from it, please do me a favor and hit that like button. Also, if you are into eating healthy or you just started a journey of becoming a healthy version of yourself, make sure you subscribe and hit the post notification button so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also, follow me for short content on my TikTok and Instagram at nature to tea. 
Thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a blessed day, night, evening, wherever you are, and I hope to catch you on my next video.